All right, it's arms day. We're gonna do some bicep curls. We're gonna do some hammer curls in this variation. So, as you can see, we do not need to twist our palms up when you're doing hammer curls. You simply have your wrist as though your thumb, if you stuck your thumb up, it would be pointing straight up. I should include a, a photo of that because that would help. As you can see, it's basically like a handshake position, except that you're holding a dumbbell. Pretty basic. Now, that's pretty much it. There's not much as far as the technique goes on this exercise. What you really want to think about is what sort of tolerance are you going to accept for the technique. So you can see I'm getting towards the end of my set. I'm starting to move around. I'm starting to lift my shoulder a little bit. I'm using my legs to get me a little bit of momentum. And this is just to try and get a few more reps out. And I'd say this is the requirement. If your face doesn't look like this by the end of the set, you didn't try hard enough. Yeah, that's, that's not a bad one either, to be honest. Now, the question is, how strict do you want to be? You can be super strict and just stop the set as soon as you start using the rest of your body to get the weight up. But what I would suggest, what I would suggest is to allow yourself two to three reps at the end of the set where your technique is getting a bit wobbly because the thing is, and this is a debate that we could have that could go on forever, but your muscle does not understand if you're using good technique or not. Your muscle simply understands if it is experiencing tension or load and how much of that tension or load that it is experiencing it. So if you need to use a little bit of momentum to get that weight up, you are still going to give your muscle that stimulus, that amount of weight to encourage it to grow. So I wouldn't be completely crazy with your technique, have some standards, but don't be too strict either.